Several years ago, I wrote an article about welding race cars that was published in the American Welding Society's technical journal. It is still available on their site. It covers both practices at Richard Petty's race shop and materials used for a NASCAR stocker. It also discusses the special needs for NHRA drag racers who often use 4130 chromoly tubing. Our website presents this and much more race car welding information. This video also presents some comments by Richard Petty and myself from a technical information segment run during a NASCAR race. In the upcoming clip, Richard is answering a question about what is important in NASCAR. Well, you got to have good people working on the car uh, to begin with at the shop. Uh, you got to have a good driver, you got to have good engines, you got to have a good pit crew, you got to have a lot of organization, a lot of luck, and a good chassis. You know, no matter how good you build a car and how safe you build it and stuff, there's always circumstances beyond the driver's control. So, uh, you know, if something happens in front of him or something happens to the engine or blows a tire or something like that, you've got to have the car safe for the driver. And uh, in doing that, then it's very, very important for us to look at not only getting the car to run good and finish good, but the main concern is the safety of the driver. The race car frame is made of hundreds of pieces of steel tubing. These pieces of tubing must be welded accurately and properly to have a safe race car. To do that, you need quality welding equipment, quality cutting equipment to get accurate fit up, and quality filler metals to get strong, sound welds. Richard Petty knows all too well the importance of quality welds, as we see in his horrific crash at Daytona. Talladega is the fastest racetrack that we run, and it's really hard on the suspension parts and stuff because the, the G-force is so much. Uh, the track is pretty rough when they're running at 200 mile an hour. And uh, this is another deal of not only having a good car and good pieces, but having it welded together good so that it doesn't break those things. The first step to a good weld is accurate fit-up. To provide accurate fit-up, you need a quality cut. Plasma is an excellent tool to do that. The parts must be very close together so we minimize the amount of heat necessary to weld the tubing. Quality welds are also made with the proper filler metals. They must be strong enough to provide porosity and crack-free welds. The joint gap in this weld is tight, so we can use the minimum amount of weld, minimum amount of weld heat, and still produce a quality, strong joint. NASCAR specifies heavy wall, mild steel tubing for chassis construction. They employ a bend before break design philosophy. Most welds are made with MIG. There are many multiple tubing intersections. Note the size of the fillet welds. A number of welding wire types could be used, but Petty used the ER70 S7 versus the more common S6. It guarantees an ideal manganese to silicon ratio for improved wetting. Details are covered in the article. Some TIG welding is used for components, such as this A-arm construction. Professional classes in NHRA drag racing often use 4130 chrome molly tubing. It is higher in strength and was called very weldable in World War II when most welding was done with oxy fuel. However, from a welding standpoint, 0.3 carbon content is not considered free from welding problems. We also find many fabricators use very small concave shaped TIG welds. These can cause failures. This is a transformation diagram and explains why hard, brittle constituents can be formed when welding chrome molly. The website presents this and other metallurgical definitions for non-metallurgists. This table presents information to show why low carbon ER70S2 is a suggested filler rod for welding normalized chrome molly when no post weld heat treatment is employed. Where most fabricators use normalized 4130, some top fuel dragsters, and a few funny cars were using heat treated 4130. When this material is welded, the heat affected zone eliminates the extra strength. The thin wall tubing this higher strength allows can cause what is referred to as local buckling, sometimes referred to as the crushed beer can effect. These problems are covered on the website. There are a number of pages on our website related to welding race car chassis. You can start at this specific page on our netwelding.com website. As a parting comment, working with the Petty organization was a great experience. They are very down-to-earth and friendly. 
we were invited with some of his other suppliers to attend one of the early petty driving experiences at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. That is me smiling after turning a lap at 142.4 miles an hour. It's relatively inexpensive thrill of a lifetime you'll never forget. Try it.